Well, um, yes, it's been said that uh, the word sustainable, words are difficult things and um, people have different um, ideas of what they mean, different uh, cultural meanings and things. Um, but sustainable, it's not a, it's not a great word. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, one uh, well-known uh, speaker said, um, you know, if, 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 I, if I had been a best man to a friend and I hadn't seen him for 10 years and I bumped into him in the street and we caught up and said, how are you doing? And we said, well, well, how's the marriage? And he said, well, sustainable. You, you wouldn't be filled with a lot of confidence there, you see. Sustainable just sounds like just making do, just managing to, to make do. And really, we're looking for something better than that. We're looking for, for thriving. We're looking for abundance of life. Um, so in architecture, I, I suppose, that's what, we want to go beyond sustainable. Sustainable is not adequate enough. Um, but at the moment, just getting us up from where we are at the moment is, 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 a, big, is a big move. Uh, fortunately, in the last 10 years, I think most of the architectural profession have actually engaged in this. I'm not sure we have the ability or the skill to communicate that message to clients. We don't really speak their language and, and the benefits to them. Um, and that's something we need to work on. But, but certainly, I think as architects, um, it's been said that 50% uh, of emissions in the West are from the built environment. And if that's the case, then we as architects surely have a, a massive um, role to play being upstream of, of these issues and we have to learn to make the right decisions.